YouTube channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Bongi de Kumalo and Bongi the underscore Kumalo and on Instagram please also do follow me there and if you are a returning sabi thank you thank you so much for returning and if you are new here please do subscribe and be part of the Behind family for DIYs and please do not forget to like this video to share it to comment and to click the notification bell so in today's video guys as you can see by the title i'll be sharing with you the tools that i use for most of my diys projects um those that i think are important and all of them are very very affordable because i for one don't have money and i'm gonna list them as the most important that you really really need if you want to do some of the stuff for yourself and to those that you can get away without having them as yeah okay i have my toolbox here with me i don't know what i'm gonna go with first okay the most important thing the only important power tool that you need is um is a driller and i have this one i have no box in i have this one from Schultz, Schultz, yes, it's written for DIY only. I got it from ShopRite. You can also get it from Checkers. It was only um, 250. Yeah, it was less than 300. I think probably 300 rand. Um, you can use this for drilling. You can adjust the notch at the top here and you can pin in any bit that you want. Um, I'm sure you can use almost all sizes. I was going to show you that, but then, okay. Yeah. Then you can also set it to either drill this side or if you want to screw on the other side and you can also unscrew with it by shifting this to the left so that it goes anti-clockwise for unscrewing. And you can also increase the power and decrease it chair depending on what you are doing. So this is the most important power tool that you need. Well, the only that you probably will ever need. I don't think you can get away without having it. So this is on top of the list if you wanna start on doing um, some projects. Then the second thing. Okay, and the next one, I'm gonna have my toolbox here with me. This is my toolbox. It's very, very tiny. I'm going to show you everything that I have in here. And everything in this toolbox is what I use, um, which is very, very important. So let me just show you what's in my toolbox. First things first, a tape measure. This is a need. Very, very crucial. You cannot get away without a tape measure. And I have one in three meters. You can get any size you want. And I also have, what do I call this? Cutting blade or cutting knife. Okay, this you don't need. You can use your scissors. So um, another thing that you need is a sanding block. I don't know where mine is. That's the other thing that you really, really need. A sanding block and some drill bits. I have this pack. I have this pack. These are drill bits, which are for wood that I use for pre-drilling. Um, I only do wood projects so far. So I only have wood stuff. This is the set that I have. The one is missing here. Um, it's from size 2 point, actually no, from 1.5 to the largest, which is 6.5. These are for wood. They do not work for concrete. These are only job bits for wood. This I use for pre-drilling. 
before I screw in any screws on my wood um, and that's really really important because it avoids the wood from splitting when you just go in with your driller and you screw directly onto the wood without pre-drilling that's what happens and the other important thing is screwdrivers because you're not always going to use your driller to screw in your nails or your screws so you need screwdrivers i have a star and a flat and i also have where is this i also have this screwdriver set it's a screwdriver here which you can change the top to whatever screw you need there's a whole different ones flat stars and whatnot and you also have knots for tightening so this is a really really great set instead of getting separate screwdrivers you can just get this because it has all the sizes most of the sizes and most of yeah what do you call that i don't know yeah then this i think i got for less than 100 rand at some indian shop somewhere in town and what else do i have in my toolbox i also have a nail gun which is not important unless whatever project you do requires you to have one but most projects don't especially woodwork then i also have these two circular bits i also have the other one which is a circular bit which is the one for just um bringing a hole and doesn't have this sharp end so that it doesn't go into the other end i don't know what they call that but it's a similar bit like this but the one which is a circle in front you will see that some other time and i also have a ruler which only i can see and some bits for when i need to screw i also have this here this also work as that i can use this on my drill also and i also have my staples for the staple gun it has all the shapes and i also have wood filler this is very very important you do need one you do need one if you're gonna be doing some woodwork stuff and i have a whole bunch of screws and funny enough when i started this these are screws for wood it's cheap but screws these are for wood and my first project i just bought i knew i needed 40 millimeter screws and i just bought the screws and these are not for wood that's why i struggle so much with that project these are not for wood these are for concrete like for drywall when you're drilling into your wall or your brick or whatnot and i use this for wood that's why it gave me such a hard time and the easier thing that i can tell by now is the ones for concrete are normally in black and these ones are in gold the ones for wood or chipboard or whatnot so i also have a spanner and what else do i have okay i think this is all that i have that fits into my toolbox but i have more stuff i have a sender also from the same brand from checkers i got this for 250 also it also comes with um your sending sheet but only just one but then this is not a necessity guys you can get away with using a sending block it works just as much but then an electric sender will get the job done quicker but it's not really unless if if you're gonna be doing a once-off project then you don't need this you can get away with the sending block which is like less than 20 rand then you also need wood wood glue this is very very essential when you're working with wood 
and you also need a masking tape it helps i showed you last time how to use it for your handles it also helps and if you are painting to cover the parts that you don't want to get the paint onto then you also need clamps see these are still pretty much new i recently got them i was doing all my projects without clamps and it is it wasn't much of a hassle if you have someone to help you though but if you're working by yourself you need them because you will struggle and i have two in different sizes for now this is all that i have and you also need a ruler and i got a still this is a square ruler i think so 90 degree square yeah i think so you also need a ruler because the one i was using i was struggling so i bought a ruler and i also bought a pocket hole cheek guys this thing is so freaking expensive this is the most expensive thing but then it really really helps a lot if you're gonna be doing so many projects so many wood projects this is gonna help you a lot in terms of hiding all your nails and screws and whatnot this is gonna help but this is so freaking expensive this is so freaking expensive i haven't used this i just bought this and it only has one hole unlike the other ones that has like two i'm not even gonna say the price because well i'm not but yeah this is a pocket hole jig that you use when you want to hide your screws then i also have a hot glue gun which also gets your diy jobs done quick because yeah this and the last thing that i have as part of my tools is this 90 degree corner clamp which you can adjust to whatever size that you have for your wood this is where you'll be fitting the other part of the wood and the other part that's if you are joining your tools at 90 degrees this is your corner clamp that you use um, which basically will hold the wood together in place especially if it works like a clamp but this is like a corner clamp for your corners for joining your corners um gluing them together screwing them together or whatnot this is it i also haven't used this as yet but that's what it's for and what am i forgetting no i think i've mentioned everything basically that's all that i use that's all the tools that i have and that's all the tools that you basically need excluding the clamps excluding the clamps and the pocket hole jig and the sender everything else from your bits to your tape to your pencil to your wood glue to your sanding block to your drill which is the only part tool that you need when you just want to do your diys project as a beginner that's all that you need then when you get into the hang of it you can just add on one or two your clamps because trust me those things don't come cheap these clamps and whatnot they don't come cheap so they are really really not important so yeah that's the end of the video guys thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching this video see you on the next one